How to verify a business listing on Google tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can verify a business listing on Google. And you can see over here, I have a verified listing and a listing that is processing. And I will show you guys exactly how you can get your business listing verified as well. Now with verified business listing, you actually are able to, you know, get your business to be viewed. So you can see over here, I've had over 103 views and these are just the overall views. They haven't been interactions, but to actually get people to be able to view your business, you need to make sure that it is verified. So how do you get your business verified? Well, first off, you need to set up your business and you need to set up the location of your business. So you're just going to go on to Google Maps and you can simply go on ahead zoom out and take a look at your specific business area wherever you conduct business so you need to make sure that you have a good understanding of where your business is actually located the reason for that actually is that if you are going to mark a incorrect location on google maps that can actually deter your verification so if you mark a incorrect location on the map then that will actually result in you not being verified so make sure you always enter the correct location now to get started all you have to do is go on to google my business click on add single business or for you if you haven't previously created a business listing it will just show up as create listing like this page over here so after that you will begin setting up your business and from here you will actually add your name so let's say that our business is just sample business so I will just enter salon over here and this will be the business name. Then you will enter your category. So I'm going to enter this as a beauty salon and then we will add yes, we do have a physical location and you're going to click on next. Now, once you actually do that, you're going to enter the address of your specific business and this is the super important part you need to make sure that the address that you are adding is correct so you want to make sure that you're adding a appropriate address that is going to be very correct make sure it's not just some random address that you are adding so whatever address you're adding make sure it is correct if you have a second address line then you can add it in the street address line too and then you will enter the postal code so now you can see over here I have entered the postal code and once I have entered the postal code it will show you whether or not any of these business listings are your business listings. So we're going to continue with none of these and we're going to continue building our business listing and now you can actually see that it asks you where you are located. So this is the super essential part. You want to make sure that you are marking the location correctly and you want to make sure that whatever building it is so this red dot you can just drag and drop it and you can get a satellite view as well to better understand the correct location of your business so let's say that i want to mark my business somewhere around here i'm just going to continue on ahead over here and let's say our location is somewhere over here so we're just going to mark it and then you can put a satellite view to better understand which building that you might be located on so once you actually mark this specific area that you are present in just make sure it's the correct location make sure it's the correct address and the reason for that is because if you mark a incorrect location what that ends up doing is that you are going to get a mail you're going to get a postal code or you know you're going to get any kind of verification message uh, directly on your postal code and if the location that you entered is incorrect or the mark that you put on the Google Maps is incorrect, then you will not be receiving, you won't end up receiving the postal code verification and then your business will remain unverified. So once you have marked your location, you're just going to click on next and then you can just enter all the basic information like deliveries, so on and so forth. And we're just going to skip the contact number section, although I would recommend that if you want to get your business verified you do make sure that you actually add the specific contact information because you can get verified via phone as well so you can see over here your i'm being verified by google now there are three 
bunch of four ways that they can verify your step. I previously have a verified listing, so I'm pretty sure that they will just verify my business in a couple of days. However, if you don't have any previous listings that are verified, so if you have an empty portfolio, then what will happen is that they will actually send you a mail. Uh, they will actually send you like a postcard with a code on it. And with that code, you will be able to verify that this is your business. So these are all the product, like all of the information you're supposed to add for your business and you can see until my business is verified i will be able to make changes and optimize it however i cannot enter uh, more information that are viewable for the customers the customers currently cannot view this so to actually get it viewed you need to get it verified and just enter the information that i told you guys to get verified on google you can see this is the listing that we created and this is one of my previous listings make sure you're entering all the information when you're building up your profile to get verified verified as soon as possible that helps you get verified a lot quicker rather than just leaving a lot of it empty so make sure that you're entering all the information that you have on your business the images the timings the descriptions because sometimes instead of getting you know postal activation a postal code you can get it verified by email phone number as well so if you are able to do that then it will allow you to get verified quicker and get your business up and running on Google My Business because a lot of people use Google My Business to find directions, to find anything. Often people just search on Google and if your business is verified, you can show up as a search result and you can see that the difference between these listings is simply because I haven't entered any information so it will actually take longer to get verified. And you can see over here, I just got verified because I previously have a verified listing over here. So the listing that we created on our business is has been verified. And this also depends on the location that you have added. Depending on the location's area, how quickly they will be able to verify with you or the specific location to actually see if the business is actually running there or if it's just, you know, in the air listing. So you need to keep all these factors in mind whenever you are looking to get verified. Now, I would I recommend that you do add phone numbers to all of your businesses simply because the verification process will be faster and make sure the location is marked up appropriately on the map because if you don't mark it appropriately on the map you will not be able to get it verified very very quickly so that is something to keep in mind whenever you are looking to build your profile on google my business so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.